apparently, I have not seen this yet. This is all something that's unfolding in real time. But I'm curious about the Bill Belichick statement on Tom Brady. Um, oh, and, and oh, and oh, something else that's happened. And this is something that I think we have been flagging for a while here, Chris. Let's pivot. Let's go on plan before we get back to Bill Belichick. The Panthers okay. have given Cam Newton permission to seek a trade, which means he's going to find a trade, which means he's going to be gone. Wow. Well, which is, yes, it does. It means he's going to be gone, which is going to add another wrinkle to, you know, maybe this Tom Brady saga. Uh, but, man, that's going to be really interesting. And, you know, to me, a little interesting that it's happening this late in the game. Why, why wasn't this figured out already? You know, we got some chairs filled already as far as the quarterback position. Uh, and you just look at it right now and go, man, what what out there is going to fit, you know, Cam Newton and his skill set? And who is, who's going to feel comfortable with bringing him in right now? So, uh, man, that's huge news, but not shocked. I really thought Carolina would move on from Cam Newton. They're starting a new era there, and they're they're just trying to get everybody new as far as that leadership positions and the quarterback position. Well, and here's the key, too. To the extent that the Chargers are in play for Brady, the Chargers should be in play for Cam Newton, and this is the shot across the bow to get the Chargers' attention. Don't go get Brady. Get Cam Newton because, look, and you think about the master plan here. Go ahead and take Tom Brady in Tampa Bay. We'll deal with Tom Brady. We've beaten Tom Brady in the past, the Carolina Panthers have. We'd rather have Tom Brady uh, there – than, uh, than Cam Newton ending up in Tampa Bay if that's what the Buccaneers end up doing. So my point is, get Cam Newton out of the conference, get him to the Chargers, get the Chargers' attention, and work it out that way. I still think, I've always thought that's where Cam Newton needs to end up, is with the L.A. Chargers. It's good for him, and it's great for the Chargers. Yeah, I, I mean, I agree, Mike. I mean, I know we're on the same page there. I just, you know, I think as I told you last week, you know, I was told by somebody I really trust in, in the NFL world that there's no way the Chargers would make a play for Cam Newton. So maybe that's changed. I don't know. But uh, I was told that by a pretty reliable source that that wouldn't happen. I don't know the reasons for it either because I'm like you. To me, it makes so much sense. And, of course, the billboard factor, you know, if his physical checks out, is a guy that I still think can play at a very high level and be dominant that way. And uh, I just wonder where this goes right now. You know, you just, you know, hey, the Dolphins, I don't know, would they make a play? The Colts, are they going to get in this? You know, he would fit perfectly what Matt Nagy would want to do in Chicago and that offense and as far as some of the movement stuff and all that. But Chicago is void of draft picks a little bit to really make this type of deal happen, too. So, uh, man, this is huge news. Uh, it's going to be amazing to watch this. And here's another thing as well, Chris. I don't know how the hell anybody's going to do a physical on Cam Newton. We're going to talk coming up before we end this about the off-season restrictions. There is a huge donut hole in the document as it relates to physicals imposed on players who are the subject of a trade. We'll get to that, though, coming up. The one hey, last point Mike, I wanted to make. Mike, are the, yeah, are the Redskins, is Ron Rivera going to get in talk with uh, uh, Cam Newton? You know? He's the know. only coach that, that Cam Newton has ever known at the NFL level. Now, if I'm Ron Rivera, I, I may have that same fatigue that I think every Panthers fan has about whether or not the guy's healthy. When will he yeah. be healthy? Will he stay healthy? So I don't know that Ron Rivera wants to continue to live that. But, you know, it's an obvious connection. And they were together from 2011 through 2019 in Carolina. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.